You know guys, I'm kind of curious, since I'm already down here and uh, most of the stuff is removed, <clears throat> I'm kind of curious, how easy or how hard is it to remove the sprinter dash apart? Um, you know, I'll go ahead and actually remove it, I'll go ahead and uh, pop this thing out and I'll remove the speaker things and to remove the speakers you just have to pull on this little stuff here, it came out fairly easy, there's just like little tabs that just slide in here by using two hands <clears throat> I squeeze this uh, center portion it probably doesn't help but at least you know it helped me actually grip it um, evenly and then once I pull it out as you can see there's like these uh, metal clips there those things if you're ever thinking about um, changing your speakers um, because you have this this little thing here that hides your speakers remove it I may have to do that bolt right there uh, this one this one to remove this little piece but anyways I'm gonna do it in this video remove a speedometer guys this is tricky I haven't seen this before uh, if you haven't done it before you could easily break it so I want to show it to you guys um, you see this little knob here you just press that little knob in and you pull that over there and it just this little piece comes out of there you see um, and then you'll have the rest of those uh, you just have to press this one in press it back remove it so speedometer is out this could make a very nice uh, gift or decoration piece for your office. <laughs> I think I could actually put one up in my office. It's kind of a cool <clears throat> sprinter theme. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and pull the rest of the stuff up. Um, this here usually just pulls out. You could just, if you have the radio out like this one. Yeah, yeah, you could just push it out of it like that. And uh, it's not going to break anything, but it's a good little piece there. To do this, you have to pull an actual dash right there, pull that up, and then there's some bolts. So you can not just pull it out. Um, there's two bolts right there. One right here, one right there. How about to pull those out? Um, I'm taking out for the first time, but I kind of figured it out. So you'll have to actually stick a screwdriver or something and just lightly pry it from the back. Then you could actually pull this piece out. And then um, there was a bolt there, a bolt there, one bolt there, and one bolt there. And now we have some more over here that we have to remove. We have to remove those. And then it should come out. And then that one. So what you want to do now is when you remove this little uh, piece here, it frees up the rest of this here. And to move, remove this little portion here, you'll have to slide it through the inside. So then this is removed. So we could just set this aside as well. And then we have the airbag, which is, it looks like it's not in my way because I'm just trying to remove the upper part of the dashboard. Um, I also think there's gonna be some hidden bolts underneath here, possibly. They probably have been removed already. But in that case, I'll need to remove this little center console and before I end up doing it, I want to remove uh, that little piece in the speaker bay piece. Different trick. I basically was able to get my fingers over here. I used both hands and just slightly pry it, pry it out like that and it came out uh, just fine. All the pins intact. And then we'll have this speaker piece to remove. I'm going to disconnect this bolt, that bolt. This one and those two. Well, maybe just that one for now um, because I want to disconnect these two. This will cause this piece to be loose. This is probably holding that piece. The most important thing for me is to try to get this upper thing off. And we'll see if we have any hidden computers or compartments. This is what I want to do is I'm going to remove these two bolts and then I'm going to remove those two bolts. I'm going to free those and then I'm going to work the other bolts around uh that i see here and i will remove the center console um i believe uh it's it's, uh, it's kind of like not really on there really good so i'm gonna go ahead and disconnect that asteroid have this uh you know pull it out right there and then it's kind of hard to do with one hand but i think i could do it yeah right there so 
this is how you disconnect your ashtray okay for removing this here um, it is tricky because you actually have to sh shift the shifter and um, where is that well I could just use my screwdriver so we're gonna put that in and we're going to shift it in neutral it doesn't have to be neutral but it's just enough so you could pull these little things out so nothing's going to be touching and then just pull on the dash from the bottom and then out like this this is once you have all the bolts loose and then of course you'll just need to pull it out like this and you'll have those things to um, remove here you could just remove it like that and then here is a cigarette lighter. I know this could be a headache because there's a lot of wires to remove um, and of course you know these two bolts were missing um, but of course um, that piece needs to be removed because um, if you don't you'll break the dash because those bolts are usually there this little unit here and uh, now it works sorry about moving the camera I try to help you guys by removing this and film it at the same time but it's not that easy job in the world this one I'll actually have to to remove this I'll actually have to press that little knob right there so I'll have to use like a screwdriver once I remove this bolt and that bolt this little piece that attaches over here it actually needs to be removed as well uh, because it crashes into it and then you cannot remove it so then you just pu pull it out like that now this piece I removed it there was not no metal latch so I could just remove it like it is now, I'm only interested in removing the upper dash board okay um, and you could clearly see it removes like in pieces like there's a bolt right there there's a bolt right there right there of course there would have been two mo more bolts there those are missing then the bolt right here right here right there I believe that's it um, the top portion of the dashboard would be removed so I'm gonna go ahead and remove all those bolts I need to mention this needs to be removed as well as you could tell it's kind of going to be holding the dashboard in place okay guys I have disassembled all those bolts just like I told you and it's time to remove it it looks like it removes as simple as that